Parceros, parceros, welcome to The Parceros Take, brought to you by Parceros United. I'm El Parcero Dani. I'm El Parcero Ron. The Parceros Take is a space where we talk about all things, La Selección Colombia, El Profe Queiros, my Portuguese dude. Why do you always say Profe Queiros? He's part of the Selección. No? I know, but I like to give him his space, you know what I'm saying? But everything involving La Selección Colombia, our beautiful culture, and our country. Like we said, I'm El Parcero Dani, Parcero, Parcero Ron. Ron. Together... Where? Parceros, Parceros United. United with... No, no Marie, <laughs> But anyways, that's not neither here or there. Welcome, welcome everybody. Exciting match. The well, emotional match. Yeah, exciting Grueling. is not the word. Yeah, stressful. <laughs> Dude, man, I cried. I cried. Dude, I cried. I too, cried, man. I cried. I, cried. I, cried. Oh, man. I teared up. No, but all I know is that after that game, I I'm, I kid you not, I received like four or five WhatsApp messages saying like. That was stressful. No, that literally. Was stressful. I texted you during the goal. I was like, que estres? I was like, that was stressful. Yo, it was so stress? stressful. But this whole time, during our tenure today, we're going to talk about, of course, Chile versus Colombia, all from the lineups to the goals to the, bro. To the what? What else? What else are we going to talk about? Oh, we're talking about uh, the game against <laughs> Uruguay next uh, next month. We're playing Barranquilla and we're playing at 3.30. We'll talk about that a little bit. And Ecuador. But we're not, Ecuador. We, we won't go that in-depth into that. We'll, nah, we'll, we'll reconvene ne- next time. Because right um, now, we got a lot to talk about. Chile. I mean, first things first, what do you think about the lineup going in? The lineup, well, we had that surprise, obviously, with... Um, actually, well, we predicted it last episode. We said, if if it ain't broke, you don't fix it, right? Yes, which I think that's kind of what so, El Profe Cades was trying to do, right? Yeah, no, we came out pretty much the same, except Jerry had that, uh, that injury. Uh, previous previous to, to training, so he was in the lineup. So uh, uh, for precautionary me- measures, they decided not to play him. They right. have a big game coming up against Liverpool, so Jesus. hopefully he he'll be there. Yeah, hopefully he'll be there. It's gonna be a good game. Everton versus Liverpool, Maryside Derby. Mm-hmm. I'm ready for that. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, the lineup, dude. Jerry Jerry was out. Murillo came in. Oscar, Jason. Uh, yeah, Jason. My bad. Jason. Jason. Jason Murillo came in. El ex Deportivo Cali. Of course. Uh, he's at a good level in, in Spain. I, I didn't think we were going to miss Jerry that much. I think, well, initially I thought that we were going to be less dangerous on set pieces. Mm-hmm. Not, I, not, but like defending set pieces and, you know, and, trying to score in set pieces. But I think if Jerry stepped up to the, to, to the occasion, uh, I didn't see, I don't want to, I don't have Jerry any, or yeah, oh, uh, Murillo? Murillo man, the Guaro, bro. No, we no, did it. I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Jason and Jerry, you get a little bit confused. Ah, uh, it's a Guado, man. We, we did a couple of skits before this. I I took the Guado drinking very serious. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, but yeah, sense. I think Jason, he he I think he he stepped up to the plate. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did pretty well. well. I mean, he he sweat the shirt and came out. We came out with the result, even though there were uh, a lot of controversial calls, call, a lot of controversial tactics yes. going on. So though not surprising. So apart from Jerry, we had everything. We pretty much predicted. No, yeah, we said uh, like we said the lineup. It, it was it's the same lineup as the last time except swip swap for Jerry, and then obviously we had after after Stefan Medina's goal we he we had to sub him out because he, he was injured. But before he, I mean, so let's talk be, about the game a little bit before the Medina injury the injury came about. I felt like we had we were controlling the game as, oh, yeah, as far as sure. we were doing we, we, were, we were doing what we wanted with Zapata the ball. In 30 seconds in had already had a chance half a chance in, inside uh, the Chile box with his head it went a little bit wide but it was half a chance and like yeah, man, it looked close it looked close I felt, like we said those combinations were working now the uh, pieces were moving and it, we were looking dangerous until you know obviously Chile uh, woke up and started playing their game <sighs> but I feel like I think a lot of it had to do with the injury um, and the reason why is because in Cato's four four and four three three, in my opinion, there are two key, like men, two pillars, in that in that uh lineup, and that's Cuadrado in the middle and Medina on the right. Those are two two of our most consistent players since he came on board, and man, I feel like mo- of course losing Medina on its own, but then I feel like. In a way, we also lost Cuadrado in the middle, and that Jesus. affected the whole game. No, and that's yeah. when Chile was. Chile is not like Venezuela. It's like, oh, they see an injury, and they're still gonna sit back. No, Chile no, took advantage. But, but of that, before man. that, let's talk a little about the about the goal. Mm. Stefan Medina, bro, 
What, what, we, what have we been saying about Stefan Vellina? Yo, people a doubting lot, him. A lot of people doubt him. A lot of people... He's grown a lot, man. Slander him, like we said, but, you know... He's grown he a stepped, lot. He stepped up, and this game, dude... That, he literally stepped he up, literally stepped took up that to, ball, took it from the, from the left back, mm-hmm. beat, beat Arturo Vidal, si, so. beat Arturo Vidal with a little hezzy, crossed the ball... Back post. Perfectly. Found Lerma... To, Solito. Yeah, which, in my himself. opinion, the ma- the man of the match. We'll talk a little bit more about Lerma. Man, Solito, literally Jesus. perfect header, box to box defender. After that, I thought it was, I thought maybe it's gonna be a, a, a route, dude. Like we had scored so early. I mean, we looked so dominant against Venezuela, and then we scored early against Chile. Uh, I was like, it looked, it looked it like looked, it was gonna go it away, right? Decent. But then, you know, obviously, like we talked, um, the Stefan Medina affected everything. Cuadrado. I, I mean, we knew what was going to happen. Cuadrado was obviously going to go um, to right back. Yeah. We don't have any more right backs on the roster. Unfortunately. And then um, Arsate came in, which he's pretty much always the, the first man off the bench. Mm-hmm. For, from what we're noticing Kato's. from Kato's, we've noticed he's giving him a lot of uh, confidence. confidence. And he slowly but surely kind of grew to the occasion and started getting more comfortable. But the problem was with the stoppage, then... You see a Chile that gets a little bit more comfortable with re- uh, disrupt disruptions, yeah. just like we said last. Tactical fouls. Just like we said Vidal, last. Parcero's take in episode. Taking a little dip. Just like we said in episode two, these guys are good at what they do, man. Uh-huh. They disrupt through the midfield. Vidal, I want to say by himself, took over that first half. Yeah, we said like we said uh, last episode is going to be a really chippy game, and that that it was Vidal. Uh, did what he wanted tactically. Uh, you know, he, he spent he, he a got couple into, minutes on the ground. He, spent a couple he got in ground. Lerma's head. He got in Lerma's head. He got in this other person's head. He got in the ref's head. That dude literally... <laughs> it's mental games, man. Yeah, man. And He's it, good at it. He did it. That's their style of play, no? He did it in that, in that, in that first even, part. Not only him, but uh, um, like we said, the referent is uh, Islas, too. It was a really dominant that, that first yeah. half. After the PK, I mean, we had the PK... Mm-hmm. Right, which I mean, that tells you the hi- uh, la jerarquía de, de Vidal. Anybody else that gets fouls like that, I mean, they probably go down but not make a big scene. This dude made a huge scene. I mean, you thought I, I thought they were gonna carry him out, uh, and then little by little, then we realize, oh, VAR, they check it. He Soft just, foul. He, what yeah, do you he, think? He forced the 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 ref's hand into checking VAR, and I mean. Technically, well, it was a foul, but Technically, it was very soft. I don't think it would have been called oh, yeah. 100% of the times. Um, if it was the the old days? Probably not. It wouldn't have gotten <laughs> called. But VAR, in, if you look at the rule book, it's a foul. Si, so, but, um, and the way he took it. Yeah, he he. Just, there, just my eye, there no, he he couldn't bro, play any games right there. No, bro, and no, in this in that ball, games. no one's gonna get it. No, le va a agarrar a nadie. Nadie. Um, yeah, but um, yeah. Palo nervio, pobre, palo ah, madre, qué susto, pobre Lerma, Lerma. Mm-hmm. But I think it's fine. Even then, I mean, by that point, they were still. I mean, they had total control of the game. They were doing what they wanted. Mm-hmm. Like you were just saying, los referentes, Alexis looked dirty. Alexis, you could tell he was trying to find his way through a counter. And eventually, coming with the second goal, they moved the ball out of the back to uh, Isla. Uh-huh, Isla. Which, he wasn't in the first game against Uruguay. He came back. We called it here on, on Parcero's take. We did. That dude, I mean, jerarquía. Of course, he's one of their leaders. and Defensively should... and offensively. No, and I think it had a lot to do with Mojica. Pausing Mojica. Mojica oh, yeah, was yeah. pretty paused this this game. Even though I give it to him, he fought. In he, the sec- he fought his way into the second yeah, half. He fought his way. Got but more involved in play. More but, acclimated. But yeah, he couldn't risk anything with Islas on, on the yeah. right hand. And, that, and the, the second goal had of everything. Course, yeah. Had a lot to do with that. And I see a lot of people trying to put blame on Cuadrado, but claim on, on, on Cuadrado, Camilo, Camilo Argas. Who, who, do you, who do you think? Who's the blame? It's one of those misunderstandings. It's one of those goals that everything just it, that's that's Chile's game. Uh-huh. We said it. You blink for a second, and in two seconds they have two sh- two chances. Somehow. Somehow they have they have two chances, and they'll score three on you. Jesus. Luckily, you know this time around. Like, it was only two in the first half, and we were able to control them somewhat. Yeah, uh, they definitely didn't let us play, like, those first 15 minutes. Um, 
Chile scored two goals uh, uh, in a blink of an in eye. In a blink of an eye, and anemically we looked weak after after the second Anemic goal. Anemically, wow, yeah, yeah. I like that. Anemically, Damn, you saw? Damn, bro. I got my thesaurus right here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a word in English. But anyways, um, yeah. So, but they, what do you think about uh, Arsate in the first half? I think he started slow. It wasn't bad. He started slow, but in the midfield, they took over, man. They took over. They they after that injury, they they were doing what they wanted to do. They were disrupting us. Even though he didn't, he didn't do bad. It still he wasn't involved. He was no, and Barrios wasn't either. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just him. It was the whole midfield, man. They they yeah. they pinned us and they got control. They they, they didn't let um, our midfield touch really. Yeah. So I mean, and that's a that's shouts to the referentes and Reynaldo Rueda. I feel like it was a very well planned match, just like. It was very true to their identity. Of course. Yeah, like we said. So, uh, we go in the second half. Uh, still a little bit. I feel like the beginning is still a little bit. It was shaky until same, same Badgers came out, really. Uh, Morelos came in. And... But to me... Unbeknownst to me... <laughs> <laughs> I just went... <laughs> it's a Shakespearean I'm, Hey, man, no. you, you drop in, you drop in these horrors lines, so I gotta no. say... I gotta, I gotta do my thing. Unbeknownst to me... <laughs> Morelos t- takes out Muriel, and I didn't think Muriel. I was like, "Crap, Morelos is a nine. You know what I mean? And he did. He they they were starting to get going, and that's when we saw the disallowed goal sí. from da- Davinson Chan- San- Sanchez. Sanchez. Well, Davinson didn't touch the ball in, no. I think I think he I, did. Th- I think he just oh, hit he, the post he, or something. Oh, he, he, bu- he bumped into. Um... The, the keeper, but I don't think he touched the ball. No, I don't know. But either way, I thought it was a goal. I thought it was going. I thought it was a goal. Nah, he was. He, dude, was he, he got in the way of the keeper. He, no, he, can't he call didn't that. call. The keeper wasn't gonna get that, bro. The keeper wasn't gonna get that. But what? Either I, way, but the big picture chance. was. Comenzamos a llegar. We we're starting to get down to their level. See, into their side. Well, he got, got a little bit mm-hmm. more confidence. Uh huh. He and, started. He started. Pinning down Isla on that side, yeah. so it was a mixture of maybe Chile stepping back a little bit, but also I, but also I really do think that it was our midfield getting a little more grabs, Alzate getting more involved. And yeah, I, in my opinion, I think um, taking Barrios out gives uh, Alzate a little bit more responsibility, which is yes. which was a good thing for yes. him because you know he's that he's a quality player. He plays in the Premier League. Obviously, he's playing in the best league in the world, but um, you see his quality when you in the world. Yeah, Premier League is. I mean, to I'm playing. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just. No, just it is, bro. It's the most I, I know I'm playing. I'm just giving no. you a hard time. I, you know, I, I'm like that's that's another anyway, that's another I, episode. I, that's another Parcero's take. Arsate, we, yeah, we saw we saw his quality once he got more involved in the game, and uh, credit to Kados who made the tactical adjustments and and got us that. Yeah, that, man. That Change now. formation brings Falcao in, takes out Barrios. Even even I, I was a little shocked about that, um, but at the end of the day. That we started advancing more. Mm-hmm. You could see Barrios comes out, Cuadrado takes a bigger role going forward, starts uh-huh. pinning crosses. Uh, there were eight, 18 crosses that Colombia made into the Chilean box. Mm-hmm. Uh, 12 17, of, 17 of them for Mojica? <laughs> no, but for a lot of it, Mojica was just yeah. aimlessly like, yeah, yeah, yeah. putting but it. But 12, 12 out of those. 18 crosses were in the second half. Yeah. Which is, I think, you, as you can see, it's key to what Cato's was trying to do. He really thought the goal was going to come from, it, from I mean, we couldn't, crosses. it wasn't going to go, it wasn't coming, ugh, it wasn't going to come from the middle, no? No, nah, man. They were, they, <laughs> from what we saw, man, and there's no way they, to play Their the box, middle. the way they defend, I mean, that's their, that's their style of play. And I think defensively, I think we controlled the ball. Yeah. We were able to contain their men in the second half. Yeah, we were definitely able to neutralize Vidal Neutral- and, and Alexis, Alexis going bro. forward. So scary. Barga- Vargas didn't uh, No, they didn't took him out. They much, t- no. they took him out. He was more involved in the first in the first ma- in the first half. But um yeah, man, and then eventually eventually that a heart attack, my guy. guy <laughs> it's like five it is, five yeah. shots. Dude, five it, shots it, on goal. So so how did it, it came through a Mojica, 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 Mojica back here to James. Mm-hmm. James, James cross, cross into who? To uh, Zapata comes out. Lerma shot. On, uh, gets to Morelos. Morelos shots. Morelos tries to shoot and then it, it, it bounces on to Mojica. Mojica, Mojica, shot. Mojica takes a shot. Bro, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, that Mojica shot was going well Way wide. Way wide. No, no, no. It was intended perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. That's what I'm Intended perfectly to Ramel it Falcao's fate. foot. El Tigre que no perdona. I couldn't believe it, bro. I saw, I saw a tweet from Simon Edwards. He said, uh, Falcao is probably a very unpopular guy in Chile right yeah, now. Yeah, man. And that's, that's referring to all the times Falcao has scored in Chile. We scored against them away, or Falcao scored against them away in the 2014 qualifiers. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, the two PKs that sent us to the World Cup in 2014. And then Pacto de Lima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that forced uh, Chile yeah. out of the World Cup. Yeah, they just And they now, did now this, in the 90th minute. <laughs> oh, man. But it... it, it Justice was served. No, yeah, we deserve we some deserved, points. Yeah, from, justice was served, at least. And I think it showed that resilience from this Colombian side. Oh, yeah. the Definitely the, the mentality definitely helps. I think a defeat would have been... It would have been the end of the world, but it would have been a, a, a pretty big deal for the team. I was already, like, making that... <laughs> that step into because it was so stressful, man. I was already making that mental. You're already thought. losing. Your, yeah, losing man. I was, that, no, I was already making that mental thought coming into Barcelona's take. Nah, man. You know what? We fought till the end. It's South American, uh, South American qualifiers. Things don't go our way, but we fought hard and we gained control of the game. We played our the way that we wanted to play. Mm-hmm. And I think you know I would have been. I'm glad it's just a point, man. I'm just, <laughs> I um, would have been hurt because every point counts in South no, American qualifiers. Yeah, yeah, every point sure. counts down the line. But definitely happy I'm with happy, that point. I'm happy for Tigre, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like we said. I teared yeah, up. Yeah. I got a little bit emotional. Oh, I'm not going to lie. You have to, man. El but Tigre is, I know, means I know. so much to La Selección. No, and a lot of... Uh, Everybody. Falcao, uh, James... Uh, tweeted and and put an Instagram post the next day. Oh, then that same night saying Falca nunca no de like like bro like legend man. Legend. It's a legend. And man. I know a lot of people were writing him off. He's old. Why did he get called up? It's no, time I mean, for the new yeah. guys. Yeah, I mean I said that. <laughs> I mean I said I that. Forget, I forget you. Did no, the, ha, 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 ha. no, I mean I did say it, but I, it's not that I didn't want Falcao to be called up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I get it. It was more of like I understand. If they call up the the the, the younger cats, um, no, but, but still Falcao, still Falcao, leadership. yeah, he's still he's still that guy that they might te lo manda guardar, Jesus. and that's what he showed. Um, so, what are your takes on? I mean, just as a whole, what you have any other takes on? You know, just how the Chile Chile match went about, or right. so like la convocatoria maybe because there's a lot going on, a lot of people talking about los convocados and, and what could Kato's improve or maybe just how uh, moving Kato's, forward. Yeah, um, I liked, I liked how. Palo I mean, Nervio. I liked everyone that. that Palo got... Nervios. Yo, speaking of Palo Nervios, are we gonna give away anything? Uh, we'll give away a pack. One pack. One. Pa- we'll give away a pack to to what? What? What's the phrase? Something with Falcao. El tigre. La el manda a guardar. Las manda a guardar. El Pero tigre el, las manda a guardar. El tigre la manda a guardar. Yeah. Well, if if someone comment, if someone DMs us, not comment. No, yeah. Uh-huh. Whoever, yeah, you gotta comment. Cause it's just one. Someone comments below or no, DMs but, us. No, how are they gonna? How are we gonna get their ad? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ah, <laughs> you DM, DM, DM us. DM us. DM us. IG, el tigre la, El tigre la manda a guardar or in English. The the tiger uh never misses. Yeah, Tiger never misses or Tigre la, la manda a guardar. We'll give away. And for those of you that, that that didn't get any uh, stickers, missed out on the the last two episodes or whatever for whatever reasons, I'm lit. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna sell some sticker sticker packs this weekend. Um, yeah, man. So, so stay tuned. DM us for more info. Uh, we'll be we'll selling. We'll definitely be posting it. More information on on our. We're selling the sticker pack. The sticker pack is five stickers for ten dollars. Jesus. DM us more info or stay tuned to our social media platforms. Subscribe, like, follow, tweet. Tweet at us if you have any questions. Talk to us. Comment below. Yeah, uh, do all that. But yeah. uh, <laughs> la uh, convocatoria. Yeah, I, don't, man. I don't. I don't think I make any any changes, man. I like this group. I mean, I like this group, but the reason why I bring yeah, it up. I think up, it's the strongest strongest group, no? It is, but there, this is the reason why I bring it up. Morelos is not a, is not a true winger. Muriel has been doing it well. That's right. But he's not a true we, winger. We miss wingers. We we could have used the, that. The reason why I brought it up is because we could have used <laughs> some wingers right. to make some crosses. Um, that's one of the reasons why 
Cato's had to switch from the four three three to like a hybrid four four you know four four two or four or a three five two that he switched because it was it was hybrid in the second half you saw a lot more Mojica being an active uh-huh. at- attacker yeah and Cuadrado went up as well if of course we miss Lucho Diaz yeah. and that had to do with the COVID protocol up. right but I feel like we need we, we could need have used now. those true ideal wingers and then that's when you know Duan Vergara the America come right. in and obviously Lucho Diaz Lucho Diaz and, but I feel like we could have because then you talk about Borre Borre is not a true true winger or Cucho Hernandez he's not a true winger so it's those guys or even of course Cuadrado would have been in that same conversation uh-huh. but he's more important in the, in oh the midfield. man I would add him in the you know who, but for this specific you know, who, who, but for this for that t- type of game then you, you, know you who put I'd, Cuadrado who I'd like there. to see in, uh, replace Arias Munoz, ex ex Atlético Nacional, can also play in the middle. Mm-hmm. He's mostly the right back. He plays in in Belgium. I thought he, you were gonna say Boca Negra. Boca no, no Boca Negra, no Boca, Boca Negra. Daniel. Yeah, Boca Negra, no. Isn't Boca it? Negra. Boca. Yeah, no sé. Anyway. Black man. Yeah, yeah. Not not Daniel. I like it. No. <laughs> yeah, but Daniel Boca Negra. Anyways. But uh, yeah, Munoz, Munoz. He's he's playing Belgium. He's showing good levels. He can play. He's like. Uh, we mentioned before he's like a player like Cuadrado who can play in different positions around the field, midfield, right back, whatever. He's also even played center back, so he's he's good depth for for Colombia. And so I, I if I were Cato's, I I because now we, there's no Santi, so we have to call somebody else up. On right, the right, and we side. don't know how long Medina's out, too. <sighs> which I hope is not too bad, man. I so, hope it was just like for precaution. He felt like a little tightening up. They took him out, and he, he he's gonna be fine because to me he is. Yeah, he's irreplaceable, he's, man. He's it's it's like a it's like Cuadrado at this like, point. He gets a, the system Cato's is trying to implement very well, but uh, defensively and offensively, we're we're lucky to have a uh, def and to have Cuadrado as our third string uh, right back. That that's pretty good depth, dude. Though. That's really good. Even and though then, I want him in the middle, man. And then I mean, obviously, like I said, Munoz, we have pretty good depth at, at right back. We'll see how how these uh this next month goes because you know. You don't know who's gonna get injured, who's gonna get well, and everything with everything that's going on with COVID and protocols. And you have Juventus, is that, you know Ronaldo and what the American, what is it, McKenzie? Yeah, Weston McKenzie. Yeah, they got COVID, so uh, what's it called? Quadrado's going back to getting quarantine. A lot can happen in a month, <sighs> and even with like form as well. A yeah. lot of uh, people can, can dip in form, yeah, and uh, not merit a call up to a national yeah. team. But Ospina might come back. I think Camilo, speaking of that, Camilo Argas, I think he's doing... He, I, he, he was he, solid, bro. I think he's our solid backup. He's, oh, yeah. You, huh? you you don't think he he merits a start right now? Over Ospina? Ospina? No, my God. I don't know, man. Dude, Ospina. No. You're I don't know. Like, that Cali bias. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except for probably, Cali bias. Probably. No, but I just think Camilo Argas, I think... You no, know, he was I, solid, bro. I think he was solid, man. But and he took I care don't of think business. He, I don't think he's... Re- he, I don't know. I don't think that'd be a fan as replaceable. He's one. He's a pillar, bro. He's like he, he is. Most uh, even caps though, on the national team. No, I, I'm with you. But like, there were sometimes in important games. <laughs> but that's Brazil. You know, uh, yeah. Brazil. You know that he got <sighs> beat in the air Stop. or from long distance. I and I'm not. By the way, I'm not an Ospina hater. What? Mm. So I'm not. I'm too. Come on. Uh, I'm, I'm only a Beckerman hater, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Beckerman, Speaking bro. Of, no, okay. Nah, but uh, yeah, uh, Uruguay. <laughs> yeah, man. So <laughs> next, next month. month, November twelfth, I think that's when we come back. We we'll be playing Uruguay, who is in the sixth position. And speaking of positions, we can go through the table: Brazil and Argentina, unbeaten. And that's another thing, bro. Like, but you see these teams like like Argentina and Brazil that they just have that mentality, bro. Even if like yeah, teams. Hierarchy. Yeah, hierarchy. Yeah. Hierarchy. Even if teams like are chippy and dirty the game or whatnot, they always they, see the result. Yeah, yeah, man, they always go through, and I think we like saw... we still don't have that 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 mentality. Why? Yet. Even Why? through Tell Pickerman. Him. Why? Even, Pickerman? Yo, Pickerman didn't even know winning mentality, bro. When was the last time we beat Argentina or Brazil? You know what I mean? Like, yo, when was the last time it was? We, we did beat we did beat Brazil, no, in Copa America. No. Oh, 
That, that doesn't count, bro. <laughs> Did you see the one we no, played? No, no. That doesn't count. Come on. Oh, Murillo scored. No, that's a winner. No, Murillo, Murillo. We didn't do anything at Copa America. Come Don't bring on, that up. God. No. Becky anyway. mine deserves his, his, your respect. Yeah, he, he deserves. Maybe he could have done but He you, deserves he, the respect took, to get us, to take us to, to 2014. <laughs> but that's it. That's it. A- everything else was individuales. Like, it was all individual play, bro. You cannot tell me that. It was all individual play. Took us to Russia. I was able to see every single sub that man made. And didn't make and all the players that he took that were injured. <laughs> he took, yo, he took, yo, how'd you know I was going to say? Because <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation so many so times. Many times. I guess so. He, he took Abel Aguilar, bro. I'm from Deportivo Cali. Abel, Abel Aguilar didn't even start for Deportivo Cali, bro. <laughs> and he didn't. And that man oh, took no. him. But anyways, that's not near here, there. Um, I don't need either. Let, yeah, like let's proceed. Saying, Anyways, Brazil, Argentina. Brazil dominated against uh, Peru. But I heard there were like a couple of controversial mm-hmm. calls. Two PKs. That referee got had to get escorted out of the country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, for real. Ar- so Argentina. Argentina took, went in La Paz. They took those three points in La in La Paz. I saw that game. Pretty crazy. Paraguay beat Venezuela. Dude, so they they're right by, under us in fourth place. Ecuador, Ecuador in, thir- in fifth bro. place. They be. Uh, Uruguay they, four two bro and it should have been more. It should Uruguay been. got that PK from from Luis Suarez. Got two PKs. Huh? Two, yep. So yeah, man. So it's Brazil, Argentina, then Colombia, Paraguay, then Ecuador, Uruguay, Chile, Peru, Venezuela, Bolivia. Literally, everyone's lined up. Six points: Brazil, Argentina. Four points: Colombia, Paraguay. Three points: Ecuador, Uruguay. One point: Chile, Peru, Venezuela, Bolivia at the bottom of the table. It's crazy, man. These South American qualifiers. You it's got, exciting, you, man. It's not for the faint-hearted. Oh, no, man. Especially this, this one game, man. This last game. <laughs> that was, uh, was dramatic. It reminded me, like, uh, remember when we won in uh, La Paz? Cardona? Oh, yeah, Cardona. De, de, uh, Marlos Moreno passed to Cardona. Sí, then Cardona lo mandó a guardar in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, man. It's You never know what could happen. You never know who's going to show up. Just like Ecuador showed up against Uruguay or like Chile right there. Boom. And it's just a start, too, no? Because, I mean, I remember last qualifying, Ecuador went out to a flying start. They went, I don't yep. know how many of their first games. And then they were near the bottom of the table mm-hmm. at, at the end. Yeah, but, yeah, Parceros. So, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Third episode of Parceros Take. I'm a Parcero Ron. I'm a Parcero Danny. You guys subscribe. Not yet, bro. Not yet, bro. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Comment below. What do you guys think about the games? Did you guys like the, you know, with what we're seeing, you guys, what do you guys think of Profe Gatos, his call ups, his subs, or whatever, man? Everything we should been get saying. called up next month. Who should get called up? The Parceros takes. Do you guys believe? You guys don't believe? Yo, call out Ron for his takes. You know what I mean? Call out uh, Danny for not respecting Beckett, man. Come on, my God. Dude. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, let, let me keep, keep it going PG. another 30 let minutes keep, on yeah. this. Let, or me keep, yeah. let me keep it PG. Follow uh, us, Parceros United. Make sure you say the phrase. Hopefully, you guys already commented us by now, whoever got it. And remember, we do have some merch coming up very soon. Best player of all time for Colombia or no? I say, yeah, bro. He has to be the best player of all time. But el, el let us know. Let us pibe, know. What do you think? Parcero Pibe coming up. Let us know. Yeah. That's another debate. Yeah. Another Parcero take. We'll do that later. <laughs> but merch coming soon. Stickers this weekend until they sell out. I'm mm-hmm. El Parcero Dani. El Parcero Ron, Parcero United, follow us, subscribe, comment, like the video, and... Nos vemos, Parceros. See you guys.